in the front end and these things are just so fugly. Well YouTube, this is a 2011 Hyundai Sonata Hybrid with only 800 miles. This is the first one I do, so let's start this one up. It's going to be doing that every time I start it up. Oh, there we go. Well, like I mentioned, 2011 Hyundai Sonata Hybrid. Well, let's get around and critique the interior of this one. Well, this is Hyundai's first attempt at making a hybrid Sonata. It's not a damn bad one either, just uh, the front end is quite ugly with that grille. But if there's one plus I can mention, it's that it has a six-speed auto versus all the other hybrids which make do with a CVT. So, at least it's not going to be such a drastically boring ride. Well, let's get around and critique the interior of this one. The dashboard is actually soft to the touch. Though it doesn't follow through on top of the instrument cluster. But yeah, the entire thing is quite nice. Harden's right back up down here. I believe I recall doing a Sonata before and, and the entire dashboard was hard to the touch. But uh, yeah, it feels quite different here. Here's the glove box. It's fairly average size, not much of a big deal. Little storage area down in the side of the center stack. These trim pieces, yeah, they're not going to come right off. Really giving it some effort, and that's not going to happen. Well, up above you have your clock, airbag on and off indicator, in dash six disc with XM radio. It's a climate control little pocket that opens up right there. It's quite deep. Yeah, I think it has Bluetooth in it. Yeah, is it have Bluetooth? I think so. Yeah, it probably has Bluetooth. I'm at yeah, it right, right there. Now. Yeah, it's got Bluetooth. Um, it's just the gray interior. It's the gray cloth interior. I mean, it's... It... You have your pocket and it's quite deep. You can see right there. You have your aux jack and USB input, iPod connectivity as well. Dual power outlets, so that's quite good. For your power needs. You have your hazards. And like mentioned, you have your six speed auto with manual shift mode. That's not too bad. You can see as well. I forgot to mention this car does have Bluetooth. You have your dual cup holders. Here's your armrest, nicely plush with the exposed stitching. That's the first upper section. And down below you have a much deeper one right there. It's, it's quite roomy, you can fit quite a few things in there. Looks like that's where you would hide the key fob. Kind of an odd place too. I mean, that would make much more sense if you just had a slot somewhere else around here. Not inside the center console. That was a stupid placement. Well, you have your steering wheel. It's nicely thick. No complaints at all there. And you have your radio controls, hands-free controls, cruise control, and new drive. This is where you would make it more eco-friendly. And vehicle information. Eh, that's not too bad. But yeah, you guys get the idea. I forgot to mention the climate control was dual zone. Forgot to show off, you got the two knobs there. You have vehicle stability control, panel dim. I like how they use those very gentle sounds. Just to slash the trunk, fuel filler, and this is just a fuse box, we're not going to open that. Steering wheel, tilts and telescopes manually. 
I want you to slatch it. Not a fan of this uh, plastic handle. I believe that this is something that uh, you can break rather easily. So, it's going to happen. On top of the door panel, it's actually quite nice. Soft to the touch up above. This trim here is rather hard, though, again, you have some nice plush vinyl on the side here. And for the armrest as well, you have your power windows, power locks, window lock, and power mirrors. Again, materials harden right back up. And down below, you have a rather sharp edge right here. You can even hear it rubbing right on top. It's like a hacksaw. <laughs> That's quite uh, an ugly finish. And you have a cup holder right there. Up above, you have your sun visor with its mirror and vanity light. Same thing follows through onto the passenger side. Holder for sunglasses and lighting fixtures. This is going to be a very, this is going to be a rather boring rev when I do it later. It's around 2,500 RPM, so it's not going to go any more than that. I think we'll be skipping the revs. That materials follow through into the back seat when it comes to the door panel. You're not gypped of anything. It's quite, it's pretty much the same as the front. You have your cup holder, and again, that sharp edge. Back seat's quite generous. Decent room here. Leg room. Seats are very plush, and you have your rear AC vents. You have your dual cup holders. And some trunk access. Rather small opening. But yeah, the seats are quite comfortable. The air lighting fixture up above. And oh shit handles on only three of the doors. Driver doesn't have that. trunk is a bit limited, you can see. It's not as large as the regular Sonata. Your battery's back here. High voltage. Danger! And a little Hyundai habit is to jip you the spare tire to save weight. I honestly feel that, that it's a necessity that every car should have. But uh, that's a Hyundai thing nowadays. Never was a fan of these wheels. I thought they looked quite ugly. And this rather ugly chrome piece that travels all the way up to the rear of the windows. I find that's such an old man's style. Let's take a look at the engine. The engine is off right now, it's in the electric mode. Right now you just have your fans going. Oh, I forgot to mention the displacement of this engine was a 2.4 liter. See, the engine just kicked on. It has projector headlamps and you can see the fog lamps down below. Blue drive! Well, let's give this car a good rev. as much as it's going to go. You don't have a tachometer either, so... But yeah, that's the 2011 Hyundai Sonata Hybrid.